for you playing Boston College again? I know this is a team that have you have a lot of familiarity with. I'm not sure how happy they are going to be seeing you again. Uh, but uh, just what's the key again against this team that um, had a heck of a run last year? Yeah, they're very talented. They're uh, top to bottom, a uh, very skilled team. So we need to be ready for that. Um, I think it was great that we got a couple games in last weekend to hone our skills and, and start to execute some of the things that we've been working on. So we just need to get better every day and go in there with confidence and understand this is their first game, so they're going to be nervous and they're working out some of their kinks. Um, and we have a little advantage over that, haven't played a couple of games. Alex Carpenter, how do your game plan against the play? Yeah, she's, uh, she's highly, highly skilled, very strong, um, obviously an Olympian, so plays with a ton of confidence. So we just need to contain her, um, try to eliminate her time and space, and when she's on the ice, we need to be aware that she's out there. Uh, Ashley Brickwood, the captain, just how good was she in that moment weekend, especially getting the money? Yeah, it was great. It was a great start for her and her line. Uh, they obviously produced a lot for us this weekend. And, um, you know, I think that's why she was elected captain, because she put in the work over the summer to get ready for the season, and I think it showed up on, on the score sheet. Laura Stalder equally is impressive for you to see her for the first time in a game? Yeah, fantastic. I, I like the way the both of them play, and uh, I think, again, it showed up on the score sheet for them. But more importantly for us, it, it sets a tone for the type of hockey we want to play and the level that we can play at. So, Linda Wood for BC is kind of a big jump. I mean, is there anything differently you're doing in practice to prepare for him? Um, you know, I, I think a lot is made of, you know, the rankings at this point of the season. It's based on what they did last year, and BC is going to be very good. But, you know, we're still trying to figure out how good we're going to be. So, I think it's more about us. I think it's about us sharpening our tools and focusing on the little things. And that's what we've been talking about since the start of the season. How are you guys building off last week's uh, momentum, just taking that series sweep and preparing for BC this week? Sure, I think it's a great start. Anytime you can sweep in the first road trip of the year, um, you know, with a new coaching staff and everything like that, I think those were really important wins for us. Um, and I think you take that confidence and you can build off of that. Certainly, we have a lot of things we want to work on, and that's what we've been doing at practice. Kayla Black going to continue to start for you guys going on uh, with BC? We'll see. Good question. Uh, it's a competitive position, and we'll play the best goalie at the time. Uh, she had a nice weekend last weekend, uh, set some school record for career games played, so that was a special moment for her, and uh, she, she did well to keep us in those games. How tough would it be for Maddie to go in and make her first collegiate start uh, at Boston College, think, if you were to go that route? Sure, I think it's awesome for a freshman that uh, could get the opportunity to go and play the number two team in the country. You know, not having any experience at this level is also a good thing. Um, you know, you don't know what to be afraid of sometimes, so that can work in your favor. Do you hope that's the position that maybe there is a little bit more competition this year? That's kind of been a good spot in her net in the past three years. Uh, do you hope that like Carissa and Maddie are able to push her and maybe steal some games from her? Yeah, I think it is a competitive competitive position already. I think we've been talking about that all year. Um, the best teams have competition in net. Um, because your, your starters need to be pushed on a daily basis. So I think it's, it's resulting already in a higher level of goaltending um, from all three of them. So, so I love that. Going back to Ashley, uh, when the team, I know it was team elected, when the team elected her captain, you said you didn't have a problem with it. What were the attributes that you noticed from her through the search process and through those first couple months off the ice uh, that made you happy? Yeah, she's very mature, um, humble. She's not a loud uh, personality, but when she speaks, you listen. Um, she's thoughtful and hardworking, and you know she, she loves this team more than anything else, and she wears the jersey with pride, and everybody else um, rallies around that. When you were looking at the team after you got the job, and you were kind of looking at what was here, was she kind of one of the centerpieces that you hope uh, you're out to around in the next couple of seasons? Sure. Ashley was one of the best players coming out of her age group. Um, so I was pretty familiar with her through the recruiting process and had worked for a lot for uh, you know playing for Hockey Canada and things like that. So I knew we had a we had a good uh, good player right there. Coming out of this first series and then going into Boston, who kind of stands out to you so far this early on in the season? 
Yeah, I think uh, overall the team uh, has been impressive to me in a lot of ways. Um, obviously, you can look at the score sheet and say, well, Stalder and Brick got a, got a lot of uh, points this past weekend, and, and Kayla played well in net. But I think from top to bottom, uh, everybody, as I've mentioned to you guys, everybody has a role on this team, and everybody got ice time last week. So to see their development over the course of the week and, and going forward is really exciting to me because they're, they're thinking the game well, um, they're trying to implement what we're trying to do. And so I think every week we're going to make big jumps. So I'm excited about everybody. How important is it going to be for some of those second and third line players to get a score sheet for teams like Boston College? You know, I don't, I don't care who scores as long as somebody's scoring. So uh, if it's the first line, fine. If it's the third line, great. Um, certainly it helps when we have depth in scoring, but I don't care where it's coming from. There's kind of two schools of thought. Right? One big line, or you try and spread some of it out. Uh, any thought to, to split you are and, and Ashley up at this point? Or are you going to keep that line going forward? Uh, this weekend, we'll be keeping that line uh, together. I think there's great chemistry there, and I think each line develops uh, over time. So if you move them around too much, you, you run the risk of, of ruining good chemistry too and not letting them develop that chemistry. So I like our lines where they are for the most part. and. Um, you know, I think they did well today.